Welcome to Jeannie's Guitar Class. I'm Jeannie Carter and today I'm going to show you how to get better sound out of your guitar chords. So grab your guitar and let's have some fun. This video uses this guitar chord, A. The fingers are numbered as first, second, third, and fourth. The guitar tuning is standard A440. If you don't already know how to play the chord we'll be using in this guitar class, you can still follow along with this video because this will help you understand how to get better sound out of your guitar chords. When you're ready, you can come back to this lesson and practice. To start, make sure your fingernails are cut short. Long fingernails will get in the way of getting good sound out of your guitar chords. Now, I want to make sure you understand what a fret is. A fret is a metal strip located on the guitar fretboard, which is also called a fingerboard. As you can see, there are several frets located on the fretboard. However, instead of placing your fingers on the frets, you will place your finger in the space between the metal frets. This is how I look at frets. Anything in this space is the first fret. Anything in this space is the second fret. Anything in this space is the third fret, and so on. Because any finger placement behind a fret qualifies for that particular fret. Keep in mind that the closer you can position your finger to the metal fret without actually placing your finger on the metal fret, the better and more clear sound you will get from your guitar chord. With that said, as we'll see with the A chord next, sometimes you can't get all the fingers in a chord close to that metal fret. So let's start by working with the A chord. How I form the A chord is by using the second, third, and fourth fingers. The reason I use these particular fingers is because all three of these fingers will be positioned one on top of the other in the same fret, which is the second fret. Since the fourth, or pinky finger, has a smaller tip or pad, it will be easier to fit all those fingers in the same fret. I have seen some people play the A chord using the first, second, and third fingers. I'm not saying this can't be done effectively, but you should find it much easier to fit the second, third, and fourth fingers into the second fret. When positioning the second, third, and fourth fingers on the second fret, place the second finger in front of the first fret. The third finger toward the middle of the second fret and the fourth finger nearer the second fret. But notice that all these fingers are behind the second fret. I consider anything in this direction behind the fret. Now that you have your fingers correctly positioned, you want to make sure that each finger is on its tip. This keeps you from deadening the string below. Watch this. This is how the chord should sound when it is strummed. Now listen to each individual string to see how it should sound as part of the A chord. Now, watch what happens when you don't keep your fingers on their tips. See how when your fingers are allowed to fall downward or flatten out from their tips that this deadens the sound of the strings. Listen to these strings individually with the same downward flattening placement of the fingers.
See how dead the sound is? If you hear that dead sound in your chords, this could be the cause of it. Remember, keep those fingers on their tips. Another cause of dead sound from your strings or chord is that even if you do have your fingers correctly positioned on the tips, you are not pressing down hard enough on the strings or you are pressing down hard in the beginning and then easing your grip on the string or chord. I'm going to demonstrate how not pressing hard enough causes dead sound. Listen to this. Did you hear that deadness from the chord? Now watch as I demonstrate how pressing hard enough in the beginning and then easing up on the strings or releasing pressure causes dead sound. The pressure on the strings must be consistent. Remember to not ease up on the pressure of the chord or string. A good way to practice your chords is by taking some time to pick out each individual string of the chord to test out which strings are deadened. Only when each string rings out and doesn't die out do you have the finger position correct. As I mentioned earlier, it is important to keep your fingernails short. If your fingernails are long, it will be very difficult to get your fingers on their tips. Long fingernails can also cause damage to your fretboard by cutting into it and over time can cause indentations in the fretboard. If that happens, it can cause your intonation to be off. By that, I mean that when you play a chord, it will sound out of tune, even though your open tuning from your guitar tuner shows that you are in tune. There are other things that can cause the intonation to be off, but this is one reason. You can play one chord and have it sound in tune, but when you change to another chord because of those indentations, it can cause that chord to sound out of tune. Another thing you want to watch out for is pressing so hard on the string that you bend the string, causing it to sound out of tune. Watch this as I demonstrate what happens when you press too hard on the string and cause the string to stretch up or down. See how pressing too hard and stretching the string causes the chord to sound out of tune. You want to avoid doing that. If you are having this problem, ease up some on the pressure, make sure your fingers are on their tips, and make sure your strings aren't bent, either up or down. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you'd like to see more of Jenny's Guitar Class videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.